This is what I ate when I was in LA. Hey everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and I am back from LA. I thought I'd do today a what I ate kind of video because people are curious about these things, especially when it comes to a nutritionist. So did I just go to the grocery store, prep my own food, or did I order from restaurants and just try and pick the healthiest thing off the menu? Well, as I was taking my first bite out of this big old honking burger, one of my travel companions asked me, aren't you a nutritionist? And my reply to that was, I'm on vacation. I had a couple of healthy-ish meals on my trip, but for the most part, it was indulgent and it was not healthy at all. However, in my defense, the time leading up to my trip, I was eating nothing but salad, salad rolls, green drinks, and getting as clean as I possibly can. And now when I'm back in Toronto, I have returned to eating these things so that on my trip, I am allowed to kind of explore what the city has to offer. So I indulged on this trip for sure, but I did try and balance it up with the clean eating before and after, and I also tried to enforce a couple of strategies to make it so that I wasn't eating terrible all the time. And I enforced it most some of the time, I would say. Here were some of my strategies. Eating super clean before and after my trip, which I just mentioned. Portion control was important to me, so many meals were either split and shared, or I simply ate half of a meal in one sitting and finished it at a later time. Limiting the consumption of processed sugar. Ample hydration, because many people confuse being thirsty with being hungry. Regular snacking to keep metabolism up and to avoid starvation slash binge eating cycles. And finally, being mindful about hunger and satiation cues. I had one animal style double double cheeseburger from in and out as soon as we landed around lunchtime. That second burger and drink in the photo was my cousin's and we all shared fries. That evening I had one grilled fish taco from Neptune's Net and I saved the other two for breakfast the next morning. It was fresh and delicious and the good news is I stayed away from all their deep fried stuff which you can totally smell as soon as you walk into the place. So I'd say that was a bit of a win. I had various drinks from Starbucks, so I'm just going to list them all here. I had a couple of hot coffees, some iced coffees, one iced tea, and one iced coconut milk mocha macchiato. The only one in that list that had any added sugar was the macchiato, so yay for that. Unfortunately, it looks like I might be addicted to caffeine again. As a side note, there was about 22 grams of sugar in that macchiato. We stopped by Trader Joe's where I purchased some granola bars and a bag of lemons to make my daily lemon water. The granola was way too sweet for me though. We woke up for the sunrise on two occasions, but because it was so early, the only thing open was McDonald's, so I tried their McGriddle with hash brown and unsweetened coffee. We stopped at Smorgasburg, LA. This was a cool and fruity acai bowl from Amaze Bowls. I guess this is considered a healthy snack since it was mostly fruit, but it did contain a bit of agave sweetener. For lunch, I had half of this poke from Society, which admittedly doesn't look that great in this photo, but the fish was very fresh and it was delicious. It contained seaweeds and avocado, so I'd say it was pretty nourishing. This one in particular wasn't overly seasoned, so it was perfect. We had a late dinner at Young Dong Tofu, which despite its name doesn't only serve tofu. On the plus side, there was fermented kimchi, which helps digestion, and it was a very homey meal. On the other hand, kimchi is high in sodium, and I also think that Korean cuisine in general is sweeter than other types of cuisine, so there was a lot of sugar. So I guess it was kind of healthy, kind of not so healthy. The next day, we went out for dim sum with our LA relatives. Good news is that we chose a lot of steamed dishes. Bad news is that I totally overate because it was inexpensive and it was so delicious. Good news is that it kind of worked as a breakfast and a lunch, so at least I paid attention to the hunger cues after the fact. I had a few bites of Nona's empanadas. My cousin purchased a savory one as well as a sweet one. The guava cream cheese is definitely worth mentioning. I think eating one by myself would have been way too much sweet though, so I'm glad those were shared. Then we went to the Cheesecake Factory. Between me and my three travel companions, we shared two slices of cheesecake. We went with mango key lime and lemon meringue, and I highly recommend them for indulging in. Just saying. 
Blue Plate Oysterette was where I had my favorite meal, and this is really saying something because I was already uncomfortably full by this point. We did the clam chowder, crab cake, lobster mac and cheese, and raw oyster. I usually don't like oysters, but this one was actually really fresh and really great. The next morning, the four of us shared one egg slut, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich, and two tacos from the Grand Central Market. For the hype and lineup surrounding egg slut, I thought it tasted kinda like McDonald's on fancier bread. My cousins got treats at Bottega Louis. It's a beautiful shop and they do an amazing job at the packaging. I was super tempted to get some dark chocolate to take home, but it was like a million degrees outside and I had an image of melted chocolate in my suitcase and I hastily put it back on the shelf. Fast forward to the afternoon when I had jasmine milk tea boba at zero degrees Anaheim. While mine didn't look as fancy as the drinks my family ordered, I thought it tasted the best. Not overly sweet like the strawberry one, and I was not a fan of the salty watermelon flavored ones. I had half a poke bowl with brown rice from mainland poke and got all the sauces on the side to control sodium. I also purchased a mango rice pudding which wasn't overly sugary. Next morning, we went to Porto's Bakery and Cafe and I had an almond pastry and coffee. It was a confusing restaurant where my cousin had to pick up her food at three different parts of the cafe, but mine was damn delicious. Then it was off to Universal where we had butterbeer and pumpkin juice from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The butterbeer was like a mix of root beer and cream soda. The pumpkin juice was apple juice with some pumpkin spices. They weren't as bad as I thought they would be, but they were also not something that I'd ever do again because they were like $7 each. We got a chance to explore Springfield and have lunch at the Krusty Burger as we were huge fans of The Simpsons. We split this clogger burger meal three ways and it actually filled us right up. Here's an up close shot of the burger. I had roast chicken at the three broomsticks for dinner and I needed help finishing this plate. I wondered why it was so ridiculously big but then I remembered I'm usually served a quarter of a chicken and here it's a half. I'm not sure what we were thinking, but we each ended up with a full meal, so my cousin got a stew and her boyfriend got the shepherd's pie. Needless to say, we were all extremely full. I had a sausage McMuffin to go see the sunrise the very next morning. I think it was well worth it and to this day, I'm still surprised that I was able to convince my family to leave the house at 4am. I had had a couple of granola bars as we waited for food places to open and then we went to Sushi Stop and I had half of this salmon skin salad as well as a dragon roll. They doused it with sauce so it was way too sweet and I will definitely not come back. We ended up at the farmer's market again and I got another half a roasted chicken at a Greek place with some grains and a side salad. I finished it the morning after. I took a Viet sub with me on board the plane. It was the best banh mi I've ever had and I can't even remember where I had it. The bread was crusty on the outside but inside it was nice and soft. That's all I have for you for this week. Please be sure to like up this video and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the content.